Hey, what's up everyone? It is Michelle and Tony. And we are here with Plant Based News to do an epic vegan burger taste, taste test. test. Today we're gonna be trying the Impossible Burger and the Beyond Burger. It looks like meat, tastes like meat, yes, even bleeds like meat, but it's actually <laughs> made from plants. Plants. <laughs> it even oozes like grease, it bleeds on the grill a little bit so for you. So it's made it. out of peas, what's the grease made out of? Well, it comes, it's, it's plant-based grease too. In my view, it is the future of meat. Today we're gonna be tasting the Impossible Burger, which is kind of impossible to find, <laughs> and the Beyond Burger, which is super accessible. Uh, this is actually at Safeway now, so widely available. This one was easy for me to find. Yep. Tony had to get the hard one. <laughs> Just drove an hour and a half to get it. And no big. <laughs> um, so these are two of kind of the most infamous, most meat-like vegan burgers mm -hmm. on the planet right now. And they're very similar looking. So we have went ahead and cooked up each one. We've got this one is the Impossible Burger and this one is the Beyond Burger. Right? And uh, yeah, they're meaty, like they are red in the middle when they're cooked. Like they really cook up looking like a burger. It's kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. And I actually have a story about the Beyond Burger. They serve it at this restaurant here in Sacramento. And I went with a bunch of non-vegetarians and they told me they make a house pa patty, a house vegan patty made of beets. And they mm. brought out something that looked like meat. Yeah. And so I was like, I don't think that's a house patty. That looks like meat. And so I cut it up and everyone at my table ate it and they're like, I think it's meat. And they're like, I don't think it's meat. I think <laughs> it's meat. And nobody could understand or like yeah. decide whether or not it was meat. And I went and researched and it was the Beyond Patty. And so oh all of the non-vegetarians at the table oh, couldn't tell meat. if it was meat or not. I want to make sure there's something here to really talk to you guys about. So first off, the basic things you see in the package, right? Protein, about the same. Iron, actually it's got twice as much iron to be on burger. Saturated fat, half as much, which is a good thing. Cholesterol, there's none. That's a positive in theory. Total fat, sort of the same. Calories, sort of the same. So when you look at these, what do you think? Um, it can be tricky doing these side-to-side -side analyses, but the thing that jumps out at me is I think they're actually more similar than they are different. So you'd call it a tie? I'd say it's a tie. It's certainly no worse. Absolutely. All right, and then it's another category that comes up which is what's actually in the food. And we talk about these issues in our Food Truth series with Mark all the time. So ideally you want a lot of these things. You want it to be plant-based, antibiotic-free, hormone-free, GMO-free, soy-free, gluten-free. That's what you guys are asking us for. That's all true for the Beyond Burger. Voila! Um, and we are gonna taste test each. I have never had the Beyond Burger. And I have never had the Impossible Burger. And it's been a while for both of us on, on both of the fronts. So um, yeah, shall we just jump right in? All right, which one should we start with? Impossible Burger? Mm, yes, Impossible Burger. All right. <laughs> These burgers look... Oh wait, don't, don't react. Wait. Whoa. It's, it's very good. It's very salty. If you like salty. I mean, disclaimer, I haven't had meat since I was eight years old, but this tastes like meat. Like to me, if someone fed that to me, I would straight up think yeah. they were serving me meat. That's crazy. We also were preparing these on, the, on a pan and frying them up and they look so much like authentic meat. It's just crazy. Yeah, definitely. I'm curious about the comparison. Okay. All right, going in. Beyond Burger. Mmm. Okay. This one's like a thicker patty. Mm hmm. Mmm. Mm. I think I like that one more. It because... tastes more like a veggie burger to me. Really? Mm hmm. I don't think it tastes like a veggie burger. Mm. I think that. It's got this charred taste yeah. that makes me feel like it's meat from a grill. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. <laughs> Chance. Chancy. Chancy definitely wants some of both of these. He's like, I Go give on, these Chance. both thumbs up. Go lie down, buddy. Go on, buddy. Go lie down. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, I think they're both really good. They're very realistic, but as someone who very much cares about price and accessibility, yes. I have to say Beyond Burger. Beyond Burger is the winner. I mean, just to show you guys, like it's crispy on the outside and still like pink on the inside, mm -hmm. like a burger would be. It's just kind of crazy. They're both like that. Um, and we have the burgers here, just to kind of show you, unlike a veggie burger, they like are meaty and straight. It feels like you're pulling apart flesh like that's not appetizing, not appetizing to me but all. but uh they're just so crazy meat like um and then this is the beyond burger we actually did a side-by-side -side taste test with mm -hmm. a burger that was um a traditional burger made of actual meat and we definitely preferred this, this i'm gonna have mine after it's amazing. very juicy steve so i suggest you wear a little bib of sorts or well and for, those of, us, exactly. for those of us who who do care about and think about our impact on the environment i mean oh my gosh this is so good uh, this is definitely and for an amazing those of us alternative. Who just like something that tastes really good. <laughs> no, exactly. That's what I think. I mean, there's an incredibly interesting story here right. about how this is That's a whole right. new industry. I absolutely love Actually, it. And because I'm a delicious. very greedy person, if it didn't taste good, I Would wouldn't. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't do it. I actually wanted to give you my authentic opinion. This is a big deal. You know, this makes sense. And if it actually tastes like a burger, this could really change the way a lot of us think about meat. I gotta say, it's good. I mean, like, really good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. It tastes like meat. It's trippy how meat like veggie burgers are getting. Yeah. I, there's just no reason anymore to turn to meat when you can have something that tastes exactly like it. It's cholesterol free, it's better for the environment, better for the planet, better for animals, like, and tastes the same. So, I don't know, I challenge you guys. If you can access either of these burgers, I hope you'll pick it up and give it a try. Serve them to some of your omnivorous friends, see what they think. Let us know what you think of them. Mm -hmm. Have you tried these? Let us know in the comments below. I'm Tony Okamoto, you can find me at plantbasedonabudget.com and... And I'm Michelle Kane, and you can find me here on YouTube at World of Vegan or at worldofvegan.com. Be sure to subscribe to Plant Based News and we'll see you later. Thank you.